Bruh, hey, later in this video, I make a comment saying where's Michael Thomas at? He's been injured since like what the since the, the Raiders game. Bruh, I'm editing this uh this exact reaction to the highlights of the game versus the Chargers. And I'm listening to some of these uh anim the, the sports analysts who was talking on ESPN this morning. My man said Michael Thomas got sat last game for punching a teammate. The team suspended him for punching a teammate in practice or something like that. Can somebody give any more info on that, bro? And obviously disregard what I said later in this video about Michael Thomas not being back yet because I didn't know that until I was editing the reaction, bro. That's tough. Somebody, if y'all got any, any info on that, get down there in the comments, let your boy know. But let's hop on into the reaction, coach. Hey, what is good, A team? It's your boy T back at it with another reaction. Now, if y'all couldn't tell from the title, man, but today we back with that Saints reaction, coach. For all the ones who don't know, your boy's a Saints fan. Told y'all we coming with Saints reactions all season, bruh. Now, last week, who do we play last week, bruh? We ended up beating the the Alliance, but we barely beat the Lions. Bro, like we, I, like they started off on a 14-0 run in the first half of the first quarter. We ended up coming back and we held it down, scored on like five, five or six drives back to back. But then we still kind of let them creep back in towards the end of the game. So I didn't really like how we how, how we ended last week off, but this week we played the Chargers Monday Night Football. Hey, and my bad, bro. I told you I'm trying to get these highlights up on the night of the actual game. Last night I honestly forgot we was playing, bro. I did a photo shoot and some other stuff, and I was I was literally tired as I don't know what. I laid down and forgot all about it. That's tough. I woke up this morning. I tried not to look at anything. I happened, I'm scrolling on Twitter, and I just see a Saint symbol with the score. I, I glanced at it and tried to look away, but hey, I, I know what the score was, but I didn't see or hear anything about the actual game. You feel me? So either way, I mean, really, I don't need to hold it up. We played the Chargers, like I said, Monday night football. Prime time, coach. The Chargers, I think, are actually a, a a pretty decent team. I don't know if they top tier, but I know they're not a like horrible team either. You feel me? But I think I I, I did hear one of their quarterbacks guy. I, I don't know for sure, my guy. I'm doing too much speculating. Either way, we about to go ahead and check this out. Hopefully, it's some heat. But you already know. Before we hop into this, if you're new, be sure to go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. If you're enjoying the video throughout, take some time out, smack that like button for your boy. I definitely appreciate it. Let's go ahead and hop on into this. All right, bro. <laughs> mm, appreciate you. Thank you. You feel me? Boy, feeling a little. Who is this guy? Callaway? I feel like normally I saw number uh, 11 back there taking our uh, punt returns. Or Ke hey, Keenan Allen is low key. Uh, that nigga's a tough. Like he's he's a pretty good receiver, my nigga. I think he's basically they only like main receiver for the Chargers, but supposedly he's he's pretty good. Who the hell is the? Who is the Chargers court, bro? First of all, this matchup is tough as hell just because Breeze used to play for the Chargers. I mean, of course that was like what twelve. 15 years, like that That was some like years ago, my nigga, but it's still always a dope matchup just because of that fact. But who is their quarterback? Of course, they don't have Phillip Rivers no more because Phillip Rivers is the quarterback for the for the uh, Colts now. Yeah. Okay, so going into the, into the second is six to three. I'll take that. Bruh, Davis, let's go crazy. Yes, sir. Number 91, even though that was an assisted sack, number 91 on our defensive line, bruh. That man playing like he won a starting job, coach. Because they said at the start of the season he was uh he was filling in for 
for somebody who had got hurt. I can't remember who it was. That guy right there, Hendrickson, he been, bro, he been playing like he want a starting job, my man. What? And that's Lattimore, too? Bro, our defense, I'm not understanding, my nigga. So they held us on the third down. Oh, yeah, I'm supposed to be checking who their quarterback is. Hold on, my nigga. Who is number two? Who is Callaway, my nigga? I have not heard of this guy for some reason. I feel, like I said, I feel like I normally see number 11 back there taking our punt returns and stuff, but this guy with the with the dreads, number 12, I don't know. Breeze. Hold on, bro. Let me make sure I'm still screen recording. All right. What the heck is up with this pass, though? What is this? Did he think he was fading out more? Like, because it looked like he's clearly going diagonal. You should just be lobbing it to him, but you, like, threw it. I, I, I don't know about that one, coach. I can't co-sign that. Okay. I mean, either way, he still ran into the one-yard line, but the fact y'all almost let him score on that is crazy. Yes, sir. So the damn Chargers quarter, the nigga name is Herbert. Justin Herbert. A rookie at that. And what and our defense let this man throw 20 for 34, 264 yards, four touchdowns, and zero interceptions. A rookie quarterback. A no name. Come on, bruh. I ain't gonna say a no name, but goodness gracious. Like, ah, Kamara, you took the miles off the ball. So it's 20 to three. Imagine us about to go into like a whole half only scoring three points. Where is Michael Thomas when you need, bro, when is Michael Thomas coming back? That's all I need to know. When is Michael Thomas coming back, bro? Like for the daggone Raiders game, he was questionable. That was like two, three games ago. The nigga still ain't back yet. Like, and, and I do feel it because maybe they just trying to, you know what I'm saying, make sure he come back fully healthy so he don't have no chance of, like, getting injured again or re-injuring that, that same ankle. But, and I guess if you're pulling out a couple wins without him, I mean, I guess you're not really too concerned. So, I don't know, though, Coach. I feel like, hey, Michael Thomas would have had us sitting right in most of these games. But it look like Emmanuel Sanders is getting a little bit more acclimated every week. You feel me? Like he's getting a little bit more comfortable in it, and, and Breeze is definitely looking for him a little bit more every week from what it looks like to me. 20 to 13. Hey, my bad for sliding this up, but my, my phone been acting foolish with the screen recording, Coach. I got to make sure we still screen recording. That's tough. How did he make this pass? Was that a fump? Ah, uh, yeah, that's probably incomplete. I don't know like he ever had possession of it. Look at this dumb. <laughs> Look at this ad, my nigga. What is this? What the heck? Look at how did he throw this pass like this though? Hold on, bro. This man was getting hit, and it looked like he launched it further getting hit. Look at this. What the heck? I mean, he still threw it short, but it's like, I don't know. It looked like he shouldn't have threw it that far. Sanders again. Bro, how many, how many yards did Sanders have? 122. 14 targets, 12 catches. Coach, we like that. We like that. That boy got them. That, that, those are some Michael Thomas stats, no cap. Kamara was right after him with 74 receiving yards. Oh, yeah. Cook was right after that with 50, 52. And that was one of his two, two catches he had all night. All right, so we tied it up 2020. Let go crazy. I mean, he throwing some reckless passes now. Like, are you trying to... 
All right, we still screen recording. Just had to make sure, but hold on, bro. Look at this. He threw that, all right. Pass that. Second and 10. It ain't like it's four down, but it's like, bro, get a stop, my nigga. You gave this man a whole nother first down. So we did get the turnover. I like that. At least we held it down late in the game, but it looked kind of foolish on that first drive. Bro, what the heck is it? <laughs> I'm about to go ahead and stop this screen record before some foolishness happens, my nigga. A few moments later. All right, coach. Imagine him being that open, though, bro. Imagine him being this open. What? Like... I mean, it's like, give me the replay or something. How did this man get this wide open, bro? I'll take that, my nigga. As long as the clock stopped, but I was still questioning. Okay, Kamara, get, get shifty then, my nigga. Get shifty. What, what they talking about? Hey, that got to be the play of the game, coach. That has to be the play of the game. Out of all the highlights we didn't see, look at this catch from Kamara, bro. And I ain't even a wide receiver. Get mossed on it. Look at him. How you going to get mad? How you going to get mad? Nobody else could have helped you on that, my nigga. This was your man in your garden. Number 23 on the chart. Kamara caught. He's mad. You, you, what, what you putting your hands up for? Don't look at your teammates. Don't look at, no, don't look at the refs. No, nigga, that's on you. Let's go, taste him. I like it. I like it. So 27-27. I know we ain't let them get in the field goal range, bro. I was low key like, and I knew what the score was, but I'm like, hold on, did I read it wrong? Did the Chargers win it? That's tough. Bro, that really looked like it was good though. <laughs> hey, imagine. Imagine, my nigga. Hold on, hold on. I want to see what these uh, overtime rules are. That's tough though, man. I would be sick as hell. That bit looked like it was good. I'm like, bro, did I read the thing wrong? Did the Chargers actually win it by three? Hold on. One period, 10 minutes. Each team has an opportunity to possess the ball unless touchdown or safety. All reviews initiated by replay. Each team has two timeouts. All right. I didn't know if they changed up some of the stuff. If they changed up some of the uh, rules. Kamara back there for the kick return. Let's go crazy. The way this man bounces off of tackles and make defenders miss is just so crazy to me. This nigga's a, a receiver too? Hey, this is what I like to see. This is like niggas, is, hey, we going to work out here. These boys can't get a stop, my nigga. Give them the boot. But we still got to play defense, don't we? Because that was just a, a, a field goal. So, I mean, it, it looked like we were moving down the field consistently, but, of course, we still didn't end up with a, with a touchdown or nothing. So, Yeah, that's tough. They're going to they gonna give him that one. That was, yeah, that was low-key, a not-on-target pass, but the receiver kind of still could have caught that, bro. 
The fact, oh boy, almost knocked him up though. Who is that, Davis? You almost gave the man the first down, coach. It's tough. Hey, I'll take it though. I'll take it. All right, bro. That was the Saints versus the Chargers. What is this, week five? Week five, bro. <sighs> like I said, when is Mike Thomas coming back, coach? That's all I want to know. But I do like the fact we can get our other wide receivers kind of um, not even acclimated, but just into the game plan a little bit more now that Michael Thomas isn't playing. You feel me? I, I definitely like that. Hold on. Let me switch up this little. But um, besides that, bro, I like that we're pulling out these wins, even though it's against the uh, Chargers, like I said, going into the highlights, I thought they were a decent team, but looking at the record, they won in three. That, that don't necessarily mean you're a like bad team, but doesn't mean you're a good team, that's for sure. You feel me? Because you could have lost some like close some some close games. But either way, I mean, they're clearly not top tier team. And we only beat them by three points in OT at that. Where's the defense, bruh? The offense still is not as ex as explosive as it was, say, like two years ago. But it's still like we're still good enough offensively to challenge any team, I feel like. But it's like our defense. Well, I ain't going to say to challenge any team because Kansas City, that's a team you got to score at least 30 on to be able to have a chance. You feel me? Unless your defense is going to hold it down, which our defense is not doing that. You feel me? I don't know what it is, bro. We got to figure something out. Like I said, y'all let me know. Is it personnel? I know y'all said we were dealing with a lot of injuries and stuff, so that also could play a very big part in it. But do y'all think it's more so our personnel we have? Is it the schemes we running? Is it the, the coaching on the defensive coordinator side of things? Y'all let me know, bro. Y'all let me know, you feel me? But either way, we pulled the dub out. We sitting at three and two. Like I said, Michael Thomas still ain't played since... What, what, week one, I think? Wait, did he even play week one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, th I think he might have played week one, and he's been out since then. But either way, my name. Uh, next week, we got the Panthers. Actually, it's not next week. It's the week after next. We got a uh, bye week this week for week six. Week seven, we got the Panthers, which is in our division. What's the Panthers record right now? They sitting at three and two as well. So I think I think we might be behind. Hold on, I'm about to look at the at these standings real quick. Oh, the all right. So it's the Saints, Buccaneers, and Panthers are sitting at three and two, but we beat the Buccaneers week one. So of course we got the upper hand on them. Um, the Panthers, we haven't played them yet. That's crazy that all of us are at three and two though, except for the Falcons at zero oh and five. Now that's tough, my man. That's tough. But either way, bro. I ain't really got too much else to say about it. I like the fact we pulled it out, but we still got to get more consistent defensively, bro. I mean, even offensively, but like I said, we don't have Michael Thomas. So I can't really knock us too, too much because he was literally a, a major part of our offense. You feel me? So you can't just act like that, that, that don't matter, basically. Or like him being out don't affect nothing. You feel me? But either way, bro, sitting at three and two, we got the Panthers week after next. Y'all stay tuned, we gonna have that reaction coming, but it's tough, coach. We can't keep having these close games with these teams that's not, not top tier, you feel me? I feel like we should be handling these teams easy, but I'll still take the win. But like I said, y'all get down there in the comments, let me know what y'all thought about